one ring to rule them all. But before we open it, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to open up these other two packs that we picked up at Indiana Comic Con this weekend, which we just got yep. back from. Mm -hmm. We have Lord of the Rings fever. We do, and why is that, Clay? I don't know, maybe it's something to do with meeting Gimli. This is true. Right, the dwarf. He was delightful. Lord of the Rings. New Zealand. Okay, we got it. We know who that is. It was just really fun to meet him. He was a delightful Super human cool being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Growled in my ear. It was great. Poked me in the ribs. He did. Yes. Mm -hmm. On purpose, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we're going to first open up Modern Horizons 2. We're going to move into Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And, finally, the big one that we wanted to get to. All right. You want me to get started? Yes, go for it. We just okay. like got a few packs. This is just gonna be like a, you know, short and sweet. There wasn't a ton easy. of magic stuff there. Yeah. But we we found some things, obviously. There's some cool stuff. I actually, oh, we could show these off in the video too. Yeah. I got I got some cool like alternate art stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, and something that was in my bag, my backpack. Oh, that's a cool one. I like that one. So this one is Step Through. You've got a mountain. Mm -hmm. Storm God's Oracle. A human shaman. Storm God's Oracle gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. When Storm God's Oracle dies, it deals three damage to any target. Hmm. There you go. Gouged Zealot. Mm -hmm. A Cyclops Berserker. Oh, that's fun. Who has reach, dang. Unholy yeah. heat. Hell yeah, it deals two damage to a target creature or planeswalker, delirium. Unholy heat deals six damage instead if there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Foul Watcher, it's a nightmare bird with flying. Yep. Okay, he's also got delirium. Aeromoeba? Aeromoeba. I don't know, but I really like it. It looks like a flying manatee. This yeah. is amazing. Flame Blitz. Mm -hmm. Flay Essence. Okay. Fury Elemental Incarnation. Ooh, it's a double striker. Yes, that's cool. I like that. Enters the battlefield, deals four damage, divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. Uh, and Skull's got a Voke. Exile a red card from your, uh, from your hand. hand. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice, but it costs five. It's pretty decent. Oh, it so these are yeah. Modern Horizons more geared towards modern format. So you have to consider like how good these are in like a 60 card format. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Theory is pretty good. Counterspell. Counterspell is a yeah. classic. Yes, I know that one. Vile and Tumor. I just Ooh. love the art here. Death Touch. Yeah. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, put that card into your graveyard, then shuffle. It's like more of a retro frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glimmer Bar. <laughs> it's really <laughs> cute. You sacrifice a token. It's an oof. It is an oof. <laughs> <laughs> what is an oof? I don't know. We haven't been playing for that long. We don't. We haven't seen a lot of the cards. <laughs> that is great. I love that. <laughs> Okay, next. Okay. So before you get into the collectors, All I right. just wanted to show these cards off real quick. Uh, I picked these up from a, a company called Barra Bowser. I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, who just had alternate artworks of like video games and like animated movies, but as the artworks. So anybody who's played Dark Souls will recognize this hub as Fire Lake Shrine. And it serves as a reliquary tower. And you play casual with your friends. It's pretty cool. I died many times up and around this area. <laughs> uh, there's also a Steam Vents. I asked you to pick up this one for me. Yeah, and what excited. movie is this? Spirited Away. It's it's my favorite Ghibli movie. It was beautiful. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, she's riding the dragon. It's mm -hmm. her best friend. Yes. Uh, well, as a Steam vent, so this is your classic mountain and island. Yes. Dual land. So. Yes. Uh, we also have one of my favorites is the King of Games, the Monarch. And everybody, uh, despite your feelings on the Monarch, you know, um, 
a card. So basically, if you if you are the monarch, mm -hmm. you get to draw one card in your end step. Yes, and I'm aware of that. Yeah, and you don't want it to go back to that person's turn. So everyone's trying to attack the monarch. But mm -hmm. to be the best, you gotta you gotta beat the best. In this case, it is Yugi freaking Moto. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Scribe Ink. Yeah, Shy Ink. It's an H. Oh, Shy Ink. It is Shy Ink. Shy Ink. Really cool. cool. Cool little company. They can, they also do like lands and stuff too, so mm -hmm. they might be pretty popular in the land department. If you're wondering what's on my arm, for some reason Michael Rooker decided to sign my arm as well, so yeah. it's still here. Mm -hmm. Barely after I showered. Okay. Yeah. Do you have anything else you wanted to show? Um, no, I think we're good on that one. Okay. Right now. All right, Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And Tori is very excited over this one because it's pirates Dinos. and vampires and most importantly, dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are awesome. It's also got a notorious for having a lot of excellent cards in Lost Caverns of Exelon. Okay, all right, all right. Don't, don't injure the cards. Where are they going? What okay. the hell is that? I don't know. There's a vampire demon token. Mm -hmm. She's awesome, and I want to be her. And on the other side, it's just a, it's just a regular vampire dude. A little vampire. Yeah. He's not a demon, though. No, he's not. So we've got Tectonic Hazard, where you deal one damage to each opponent and each creature they control. Mm -hmm. Nurturing Bristleback. It's a dino. Mm -hmm. So it enters the battlefield. You create a 3-3 three, three green dinosaur creature token, and it has forest cycling. For two mana, you discard this card, search your library for a forest card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Sunshot Militia. Human soldier, tap two untapped artifacts and or creatures you control. This deals one damage to each opponent, and you activate only as a sorcery. Very nice. That could be fun for uh, for commander. Mm -hmm. Hidden Necropolis. Ooh, it's a land. It's a cave. Mm -hmm. It enters the battlefield tapped, and you can add a swamp. That's awesome. I would love to see more lore and books written about Ixalan, because it's a very fun play. Mm -hmm. Yes. To be a part of. Diamond Pickaxe. Mm -hmm. That's freaking awesome. Look at that. Indestructible. It's so it is. A so creature gets a plus one, plus one, and whenever this creature attacks, create a treasure token. Mm -hmm. That could be fun. It's actually, treasures are awesome in this game. Yes. Captain Storm Cosminium Raider. Cosmium. Cosmium Raider. Sure. Human Pirate. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target pirate you control. Nice. Yeah. Jade Seed Stones. That's awesome looking. When it enters the battlefield, you distribute three plus one plus one counters among one, two, or three target creatures you control. Craft with creature for five colorless and two green. You exile this artifact. Exile a creature you control or a creature card from your graveyard. Yep. Return this card transformed under its owner's control. So you transform it. It tells you it's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Go mm -hmm. ahead and flip it. Oh, it's a Jade Heart Attendant. Mm -hmm. So now it's a Golem. Mm -hmm. And when this enters the battlefield, you gain life equal to the mana value of the exiled card used to craft it. That's pretty cool. That is cool. I like it. That's a fun looking mountain. Yeah, I always get kind of weirded out because I, someone pointed out that it, it kind of looks like uh, one of the, the cards that they put in the back of the packs with the artwork. For like one of their like arena thing, mm -hmm. and it looks like a QR code or something. Oh, it it does kind of. Earth Shaker Dreadmaw. I mm -hmm. think this art. Dinosaur Trample. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other dinosaur you control. Yeah, pretty fun. Breaches Eager Pillager. Goblin Pirate First Strike. Whenever a pirate you control attacks, choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. Create a treasure token. Target creature you. Or, sorry, target creature can't block this turn or exile the top card of your library. You may play in this turn. That's going in the Gimli deck. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a legendary. Berated Net. Artifact. When it enters the battlefield with three counters on it, 
to tap, remove a net counter from braided net. Tap another target non-land permanent. Its activated abilities can't be activated for as long as it remains tapped. Craft with artifact. One mana and one blue. And then it goes to the braided Kupu? 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 Mm-hmm. Artifact. Uh, draw a card for each artifact you control, then put braided Kupu into its owner's library, third from the top. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like it. Don Andres, the Renegade. Ooh, another legendary vampire pirate. I like it. Each creature you control but don't own it gets plus two, plus two, has menace and death touch, and is a pirate in addition to its other types. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell you don't own, create two tapped treasure tokens. Ah, so that's where the um, the stealing of cards is going to um, be at play here. Yes. And then tra tapping two treasures. Ooh. Ooh. That's <laughs> actually pretty fun. I might consider that guy. I like but. him. Ooh, Restless Ridge Line. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Enters the battlefield tapped. Can be a mountain or a forest. So a lot of lands in the Ixalan set are, can't have the ability to transform uh, into creatures. Mm. So it depends on like what combination of colors. So this one turns into a red-green dinosaur. Oh, that's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. So the land transforms around, uh, transforms. It's pretty fun. It's fun. Ooh. It's, it's like a Mosasaurus. That's a, that's a Jurassic Park island. Oh, it is. That's it is the then show. a Mosasaurus. Yeah, it yes. Is. <laughs> that's fun. Okay. I like that. Uh, Inti Senestial of the Sun, maybe? Yeah. Human Knight. Whenever you attack, you may discard a card. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on target attacking creature. It gains trample until end of turn. Whenever you discard one or more cards, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until your next end step. Ooh, very fun. I, like I love the Mayan art style there. Agreed. I think that's really cool. I, I want to see more from this set, honestly. Mm -hmm. I like Last this set a lot. We should do like a big box opening for Exelon because there's a lot of cool cards in that set. All I right. Yes. Bring us home back to Middle Earth. Back to that little hobbit door. They're writing... back again? Yeah, they're oh, back again. Hobbit's tale. They're back again. I know you're writing your book. And uh, <laughs> break out the, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, pipe weed. Because this is going to be a doozy. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Try not to spoil too much because I think that mythic's going to be in the back there. Yeah. There we go. So we've got a tentacle. Ooh, that looks cool. Is wow. that from the deep? Like Creature of the Deep? Yes. Nice. And then you got a... A food. Mm -hmm. Hobbits love food. Mm -hmm. That's a play style. Pippin's Bravery. Nice. We met Pippin before. We did. You may sacrifice a food. If you do, target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. Otherwise, that creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Pippin is basically like Scooby-Doo, where if he gets reward with food, he's going to be more brave. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smite the Deathless. Whoa. Smite the Deathless and deals three damage to target creature. That creature loses indestructible until end of turn. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. What? Okay, that's pretty cool. A oh, damn. Smite the Deathless is right. Yeah. Bewitching Leechcraft. Mm -hmm. Enchant creature. When be Bewitching Leechcraft enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature has, if this creature would untap during your untap step, remove a plus one plus one counter from it instead. If you do, untap it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Wolf's Pathfinder. Human Shaman, to tap, add one mana of any color. This is a really good card. Yes. So six colorless, one green, tap this. Another target creature gets plus pl three, plus three, and gains trample until end of turn. Very scary. That's, yes. a, that's, a, that's a good mana ramp, and then you also get a finisher. Mm-hmm. Fear, fire, foes. Ooh. Damage can't be prevented this turn. Fear, fire, foes deals X damage to target creature and one damage to each other creature with the same controller. Okay. Where X is whatever you pay for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of damage. 
Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant, human soldier. When Gothmog enters the battlefield, a mass orcs one. Put mm-hmm. a plus one plus one counter on it. Oh, sorry. On an army you control, it's also an orc. If you don't control an army, create a zero zero black orc army creature token first. Creature tokens you have gain death touch. Ooh, that's very nice. Mm-hmm. Planes. Look at that. It's the Shire. It is the Shire. <laughs> Good call on that one. Samwise Gamgee. Mm. Put all of them with his little, little hoppities. Halfling peasant. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a food token. If an artifact with two... Oh, sorry. It's an artifact with two. Okay, that's yeah. the normal food. You sack it and you gain mm-hmm. three life. Sacrifice three foods. Yeah, return target historic card from your graveyard to your hand. So artifacts, legendary sagas, those are all... Mm-hmm. Uh, all um, historic. Mm-hmm. The Watcher in the Water. Mmm, a crack in. Okay. The Watcher in the Water enters the battlefield tapped with nine stun counters on it. Whenever you draw a card during an opponent's turn, create a plus one plus one blue tentacle creature token. Whenever a tentacle you control dies, untap up to one target Kraken and put a stun counter on it up to one target non-land permanent. Mmm. Dang, mm-hmm. that's pretty. That's pretty interesting. He's a then, beefy you dragon. Can, you can make it your commander too. So, hmm. Mm-hmm. Beefy Kraken. Mm-hmm. Mono blue though. That might be hard to make a deck around. It's Ooh. it's Carl Urban. It is. we <laughs> <laughs> king of Rohan. Mm-hmm. Human noble. Double strike. When he enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each other human you control. When he enters the battlefield, target player becomes the monarch and deals damage equal to its power to any target. Yeah, you get to have your Carl Urban and be Yugi Moto at the same time. Uh, <laughs> All right, very nice. Nazgul, Ooh. Wraith Knight, Death Touch, obviously. Mm-hmm. When Nazgul enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Whenever the ring tempts you, put a plus one plus one counter on each wraith you control. A deck can have up to nine cards named Nazgul. Oh, very cool. Which would make sense. The so you could have up to nine Nazgul cards in your commander deck? Mm-hmm. Nice. That's okay. pretty cool. In of the Prancing Pony. Oh, wow. Borderless. That's it's really a, fun. It's beautiful. I love this land. So it can become any color. Add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast multicolored spells. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lash of the Balrog. Okay. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature or pay four. You target, or sorry, you destroy target creature. Mm-hmm. So that could go well in some Aristocrat strategies, mm-hmm. sacking creatures. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice. Many partings. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle, create a food token. Ooh, very fun. I like that. And Amir Marshall of Rohan. Oh my god. Yeah, what a beast. He's got haste, and whenever one or more other attacking legendary creatures you control die, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. This ability triggers only once each turn. Oh my gosh. That would rip in the Gimli deck. Yes. So Gimli's also a double striker. I'm trying to make a whole commander deck out of uh, from Gimli. Mm-hmm. If you did get a signature. So. Yes. I wow. love this. This is a great this was a great pack opening. Yeah. I'm not disappointed whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So uh, can I go eat now? I guess. As you know, I've I've only had like two meals today and I must be fed like eleven well, times. Uh, again, uh, I'm not restricting you <laughs> food and what you eat. We just had a lot of stuff to do over the weekend. Yes, we did. All right. Well, that was fun. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notifications, bell, whatever, buttons. You mm-hmm. know you know the drill. So you can see more of this. And all this. Mm-hmm. A little package. A little I serve it to you. And I'm like, hello, you have more content. Okay. And you're like, where's the receipt? How can I return this? 
<laughs> uh, not included, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next yes, time. Yes, thank you. Bye.